We love our technology. We get our email on our phones and on our computers, and we fill up our hard drives with pictures. But is all that digital data weighing us down? Would you consider yourself an e-hoarder? Fox 25's Elizabeth Hopkins takes a look. Every time 23-year-old Bethany Hashway turns on her computer... Pictures, documents, emails, everything. There's a sense of overload. I keep them on there. Just for the heck of it. That's because Bethany, like so many of us, is what you might call an e-hoarder. Someone who can't seem to part with the glut of pictures, emails, texts, and other electronic clutter that clogs up space on our desktops and hard drives. I have to admit, I'm guilty of it as well. I mean, just take a look at my email account. I've got pages of this stuff, and some stuff I haven't even read yet. So why don't I just go in, read it, clear it all out? Well, because it's just as easy to do this. Out of sight, out of mind, gone awry. It's time consuming, so when you, you accumulate all that stuff, it's easy to just, you know, put it off to the side and act like it's not there, which is what people do. Dr. Jeff Szymanski is the executive director of McLean Hospital's Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Institute. He's seen patients whose hoarding behavior ends up taking over their lives. For most people, this issue never becomes that serious. Still, the habit can become a stressor every time you turn on your computer. The same problem you can get caught in getting too much physical clutter is the same problem you're going to end up absolutely in the virtual world, is that it's about decision making and how long do I need this and what do I need this for. But the difference between the virtual world and the real one is eventually we have to clean up our room. Not so for our Gmail account. Dr. Zemanski says some e-hoarders go as far as filling up one email account and then continuing to open new ones just to be able to hang on to more of that precious digital data. There is this um, illusion of, of uh, unending amount of space that we have, we have as much as we, we want. He says the decision to weed out what we don't need is often difficult because of our emotional connection to it and our fear of, what if I need it? So Dr. Szymanski says we need to prioritize, organize, and not connect ourselves with our clutter. Don't let the emails pile up. Send a quick response when needed and delete emails you know you won't need. Unsubscribe to emails you never look at but continue to take up space and make it a habit to back up important files and pictures on a portable hard drive or a jump drive. Because if you continue to hang on to everything, eventually your PC's hard drive is going to die. And all those precious files you've hoarded could die along with it. Elizabeth Hopkins, Fox 25 News.